This week we travel to the Limpopo province of South Africa to hunt two of the seven most dangerous animals in Africa, the crocodile and hippopotamus. After John got his rifle checked out, we started our hunt for a crocodile on one of the many rivers that flow into the bigger Limpopo River. We walked for several miles along the riverbank, checking out the many crocodiles that we encountered. After many sightings, the PH has finally spotted one that was a shooter, and the hunt was on. John came prepared to make the crawl on hands and knees. He was the smart one because there were lots of small cactus and other stickers just waiting for a tender knee, like mine. We were being very careful not to make any noise. Just when we got in the position to make the shot, the wind swirled and the crocs were gone. At that point, we knew there was going to be more walking and more glassing before we would find another one. Following the first unsuccessful stock on a trophy croc, we walked several more miles to another location where another shooter was spotted and we crawled into position for John to make the shot. After what seemed to be hours, John finally was able to get a clear shot at the biggest croc. Get him again. There you go. Good. She's up in the bank. What the fuck? Go ahead. Well, I think I had a pretty good shot, but he, he kind of turned and he was heading for the water. I went to load another shell and the magazine dropped out of the gun. So all I got was a click on the second <laughs> shot. And fortunately, Abel here hopped on the 270 and popped up and put the coup de gras on him. So the bottom line is, I think we got a pretty good crock down in the water. I think so too. Abel, you made a good move there. Quick thinking, buddy. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Oh. Hey. Oh. 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 
Oh, look at this. I can't believe these guys were wading across these waters where moments ago there were crocs sunning on the other bank. He made it. One more to go. Here we go. Here goes another pH in the water. Don't wet my shoes. Your shoes. And let's see how high it comes up on this guy. This guy's not quite as tall as the other one. Oh. There he goes. There he goes. Oh, look like a monkey. <laughs> you got it done. Yep. Congratulations. Took, th took three days, <laughs> but finally. <laughs> hey, well, you did a great job. You did a great time. I tell you, this is uh, a prehistoric animal here. That's for sure. And uh, this is this was really hunting trying to get this guy. We hunted. Uh, I don't know how many days. I lost track of the days and snuck up on one yesterday and uh, we couldn't make it happen and uh, today we we walked for several miles and crawled for a while and <laughs> and got set up on this guy and John you put a good shot on him. Yeah. Got him, got him right where he needed to be. You can make a lot of boots out of him if you want. For sure. It was a uh, spot and stalk crocodile hunting's fun. Yep, it's, it's a lot of fun, but I'll tell you, they're cagey critters. They can smell, they yep. can hear, they can see. There's easy. nothing easy about getting nope. a nice crocodile. No, nope. I want to thank you, Abel. Well, thank you very yes, much. SS Pro job. Safaris, it's been a great hunt. Don't go away. We'll be right back. With the croc in the salt, we now were going out to find hippo sign, but first our plans were interrupted by mechanical issues with the truck. TIA. This is Africa. <laughs> oh yeah. It's one adventure after another. Well, you know what? It could be it could be worse. You know what? We could be home behind our desk. True. Which is still better than True. behind our desk. Yes, it is. <laughs> so anyway, we uh we can't do much about this folks. We got a timing belt that went out. We recovered quickly from the truck problems and we were also quick to find where a small group of hippos were hanging out. We found where they were coming out of the water to feed, so we constructed a blind to see if we could catch them as they lumbered out onto dry ground. sat and waited in that blind all afternoon and into the evening, but the hippos must have known we were there because they did not show up. It was a welcome sight to see our ride coming to pick us up. Early the next morning, we were back in that same location and the hippos were there, but in the water. sat and watched these hippos, waiting for one to open his mouth so that we could assess the ivory. They put on quite a show for us, but none opened their mouth.
Bozo in front of us for quite a while. We just can't get what we believe to be as the bull to open his mouth so we can assess the ivory. So we're kind of, we pushed him off a little bit and we're following him down the river, just trying to get the right moment where we see if it's the one we want to take. So we're just going to stay after him. There we go. That's what we were waiting for. Now we know which one to try for. With the bow identified, it was now a matter of time for him to get in the right position for a shot. Before the break, John had a bow hippo identified and now it was up to John to make a good shot. Got him. He's dead. Dead. Good shot, John. Good shot. Hey. John. <laughs> nice one. Good shot. There he is. Yeah. Check out these oars, folks. You talk about a shovel being a multi-use tool. With the hippo attached to a rope, it was now a matter of manpower and truck power to get this massive animal up on dry ground. I'd like to thank SS Pro Safari for hosting us hosting Discount African Hunts and Hunt Wicked Close TV That's a pleasure. for a fabulous big game safari. Oh, thank you. Hey, thank you very thank much. You. Good shot. Well, John, I tell you what, it's been a great time here in 
South Africa with you and we've got a croc in the salt, a hippo in the salt, and a couple night creatures. So it, it was it was good. It's been a it's been a great hunt, Wayne. The hippo croc combo. I offer that on my website, discountafricahunts.com. I've got a lot of great hunts and great adventures in Africa. I'd urge your viewers to take a look when they get a chance. And I want to thank Hunt Wicked Clothes TV for accompanying me on my adventure in Africa. <laughs> well, I tell you what, it's been a pleasure, John. We, we're glad to be able to do this and look forward to it again. Yes. Okay.